Hi everyone, welcome back to our coding series. Today we are going to dive into caching a Node.js critical techniques to boost your application performance by reducing the load of your database and speeding of response time. Whether you are building high traffic web app or just looking to optimize your API, caching is must have a skill. So let's get started. Here, first we have to set up our Node.js project and then we'll go further on that. So let's first set up a basic Node.js project, open terminal and run the following command that I'm doing. So first I will do mkdir, I'll say Node.js hyphen caching demo and then we have to move into this directory node.js caching demo and then what we will do npm init hyphen y so it will not ask you anything just it will create package.json file now we are into this if i just write dir you will see that we have here package.json file available we need to install few packages and that is one i'll say npm install and then first is express.js we will use express and then node cache this package we will use so using node cache we will maintain the caching and express will be used to create the api here node cache is simple and fast node.js caching module that is stored data in memory and making it perfect lightweight caching application so let's click enter And then this is installed what we will do we can write code dot I am hoping that you have already installed Visual Studio code and if that is done then this command will work node dot so current folder now will open into Visual Studio code and here if you see we have this package.json file log file and module file we'll create here one more file which is I'll say index.js and in this index.js we will write code to create api and then also we will implement caching mechanism so first i'll start with const express equal to require and here i will say express this is first thing that we need to do so next thing that we need to do is to create one variable i'll say we have to import and that is node cache and this we will import from required so i'll just write require and here we will say node node cache and these two things we can import and after that we can initialize so i'll say initialize the cache so how you will initialize we can write const cache equal to new node cache that we have created above and inside this we have to use one uh, we can say object and in this object we have to pass the options so option is i'll say std ttl and std ttl is basically the time to live so i'll say 100 seconds and uh, 100 seconds and after that we have to add comma and then we can see check period so check period is when you want to again check whether data is available in that uh, cache or not so these two things we have to do, do here and after that we can just say const app equal to and then we can say express just we wanted to create api then next is we'll say uh, port right so if you want to just use port from process.env.port if port is available then use that one else you can use 3000 which is default port these two, two things we have to do here and then we can just create app.get so this is one get api and we'll implement here slash let's say i'll say data and whenever we will use localhost 3000 slash data this api will be called and here we have to pass request and then RESP response and this is one API 
we have created here let's use one key so whenever we will call data then we should have one key so i'll say cache key right so this cache key equal to i'll just say my data this is my key and this key will be available always for this particular data input and we can say here const cached data equal to my cache so const data equal to and we have to use this cache cache dot and from this cache we have to fetch that one so we have get method available i'll just pass this key cache key so whenever we will uh, we have to also enter so we are right now just getting data from cache and we have to check if data is not available right let's say i'll say if not available cache data cache data then what you have to do you have to insert or or just you can right Re return the message or let me just for the testing i'll say if cache data is available then just write here console.log and we can say serving data from cache and then return resp response dot json and here we have to return the cache data that we will get right so this cache data we can just return from here now if data is not available right then we have to say console dot log and here we will say fetching from let's say api or or database right whatever thing you wanted to write inside api that you can do and then we have to you know create one data right so i'll say fresh data equal to and then just write here fetch data right? this is one method that we can create so let's say fetch data from db or, or somewhere else right you have to get data and then return this right but before returning you have to enter this one also in in that cache right so cache dot i'll say set and inside this we have to set with key so i'll say cache key and then the data fresh data that you get so always we have to enter here and then we can just say return resp response dot json and then we can say fresh data so this is how we can just develop our application this is get method now we have to listen so app dot listen and here inside listen we can just say port number and uh, if you want you can just provide here the implementation and i'll say server started something like that console dot log i will say serving uh, server is running right. server is running so this is this is uh, what you can write message server is running and uh, just we need to implement this method right so we can say here to implement this method just write const uh, fetch from db equal to i'll just say here right so we have to just return some data right so return and inside this i'll say data equal to let's say hello world right so this is our data we can just put some time right so i'll say uh, time stamp equal to new date right so any any data you just pass here so this is our application is up and running let's just uh, run it to test to run we have to go to uh, run um, go to terminal create new terminal and then we can say here node and uh, then we can we can just check first npm hyphen v whether node.js is installed or not and then we can write node index.js let's run it so here it's saying server is running we can go to postman and here write localhost 3000 and then we have data click next so if you see we get this response hello world 
and timestamp. If I will just click here again, you can see it's taking 12 millisecond, 5 millisecond, 4 millisecond, right? Because data is cached now. Just wait 100 second and after that we can again try and we'll see if this time is changing here or not. Now let's try to run again. You can see it took 11 seconds from 5 now it's taking it took 11 seconds and then again you can see it's taking 5 6 seconds so this is how you can develop caching in your node.js application it's easy to implement which is using node cache module thank you so much for watching the video see you in the next